Hey guys, my name's Chris, and I'm here to help you with your enhanced broadcasting to Twitch. So what enhanced broadcasting is, is allowing you to send out the multiple video qualities to Twitch for your viewership. This can help you raise your viewership because not everyone has the availability to watch your stream at 1080 or 720p based on their bandwidth availability. So let's get started on how to set up enhanced broadcasting on your OBS. First, you wanna make sure you are at OBS 30.2 or higher. If not, go ahead and update your OBS to be able to do enhanced broadcasting. Twitch also does have a help page, which I'll link in the bio for any requirements on enhanced broadcasting. With enhanced broadcasting, they do require the NVIDIA GeForce 900 series or the Radeon RX 6000 or 7000 series or newer. You also want to make sure that you're streaming at 1920 by 1080 at a 60 FPS. You also need to have a minimum bandwidth of 12 megabytes per second solely for your OBS to handle. Now we're going to go ahead and test to make sure that you have the available bandwidth speed. So go ahead and go on to speed test for Google and let's see if your upload speed is fast enough to be able to do enhanced broadcasting. Okay, now that we're in OBS, go ahead and hit settings, go to stream, and we're going to check on enable enhanced broadcasting and put both these in auto. Next, we're going to go to output and make sure we're at 1920 by 1080 and then go to video and make sure we're at 1920 by 1080 here and 60 frames per second. Go ahead and apply and then OK. For us to be able to test this, we need to go back in the settings, go to stream and enable bandwidth test mode. Hit apply and OK. Now, whenever we hit start streaming, this is going to put us in a bandwidth test mode. So your system will be doing a stress test of your, your live stream without actually going to live. Now let's go ahead and bring up your favorite game. For me, I play a lot of Apex Legends. We want to go to view and bring up the stats. You can see right now with me on one PC trying to transcode all the video qualities and play the game at the same time, it is too much for my PC. So let's go ahead and show you how to dial that in so we don't have any skipped or missed frames. Let's go ahead and stop our stream. Okay, so let's start by going to settings and let's go to stream and we're gonna disable the auto video track. So instead of doing the maximum amount of video tracks, instead of doing the five, we're gonna try dropping it down to three. We're gonna go ahead and apply and okay. And let's start our stream back up. Now with our stream back running, let's go to view and let's hit those stats. And you can see now we're, as, we're now at 0% on skipped and missed frames. This is what you're looking to see. Now with us enhanced broadcasting at three additional tracks, we're gonna go ahead and check our view stats. And you can see we have no missed or skipped frames. This is what we're looking for. So you wanna dial in how many tracks you're able to stream from your PC and still offer as many video tracks as possible to your viewership. Another important thing is down at the bottom of your PC, right click on your taskbar, hit task manager, and let's go to performance. On your performance, we wanna see the GPU and make sure that that's not maxing out. You can see we're running about 78% of our GPU usage. So we'll be able to play our game, enhance broadcast, and do everything else we want on our stream without maxing out our GPU. If you have any skipped frames, missed frames, or your GPU maxing out, you may just not have the PC power to be able to do enhanced broadcasting. So if you notice your bitrate is now running higher than what your output settings are set for, that's because your enhanced broadcasting is overriding that with the streaming bandwidth. Because the multi-video tracks do require more upload speed. So in summary, we've gone to settings, stream, and enabled enhanced broadcasting. We've also enabled streaming bandwidth. And for those with a more powerful system, you've put your video tracks in auto. For me, I run a dual PC setup. So for my streaming PC, this is an auto. We've gone to output, made sure we're at 1920 by 1080 on video, also 1920 by 1080 with 60 frames per second. Go ahead and hit apply, okay. 
we've checked our upload speed to ensure that we have at least 12 megabytes of upload just for OBS to handle. And then we ran our test stream. Make sure you go back into your settings, go and disable bandwidth test mode, hit apply and okay. And now you're ready to try test streaming to your viewers.